All right, everybody, um, welcome to our virtual observation versus inference lab. So the first thing is you are going to um, observe and record three movements and record it in your data table one on your worksheet. As for number four, you are going to observe if the worm has an anterior and posterior side. And how do you know? Number five, approximately how long is the worm recorded in your data table one number? All right, so we are going to uh, count the number of segments in your worm. So what you need to do is, you need to count how many segments between two centimeters to three centimeters, and you multiply by the total length of the worm, and that will give you the total segment, and record it in number six in your data table one. Number seven, observe the bristle on the worm and explain how it helps the worm with movement. And record this data in your data table number one. Number eight, use a probe and touch the anterior part of the worm. How does it react? Record this data into your data table number one. How about the posterior? Record this into uh, number nine on your data table number one. Number 10, how does the worm respond to water anteriorly versus posteriorly? You record this data into your data table number one. Number 11, how does the worm respond to moisture? And record this data down to your data table number one. All right, thank you everybody for watching this video. Again, thank you for a nice teacher that shared this video on YouTube. Um, so now everybody return back to your worksheet and complete the rest of your worksheet. Thank you.